So this video is another weight loss video. Before I get into anything, quick disclaimer, if you have or had an eating disorder, please click off this video right now. This video is not for you. The title already makes it obvious like what it's going to be about, so I don't want you to get triggered or upset, so don't watch this video. For everyone else who wants to lose weight, interested in losing weight, you can carry on watching. Today I'm going to be talking about the eating habits of naturally slim people that I've noticed over the years. I have naturally slim friends and my own dad, he's never been fat in my whole lifetime, his lifetime ever. He's never had like a belly. And just from observing him and his eating habits, if I implement them, then I notice like it's very hard to gain weight. Even if you think, oh, that person like eats the most like junkiest high calorie foods, but they never seem to gain weight. They could eat those fruits, but most of the time they're eating only little amounts. These are just the things that I've noticed, which I think it helps to study the eating habits of naturally slim people because then you can try to mimic that and incorporate it into your lifestyle and you are going to find weight loss results. So anyone that seemingly has a very high metabolism, they just never seem to gain any weight, they've stayed the same size all their lives. Some people do have higher metabolisms than other people, but if you force feed someone skinny like that and you make sure that they overeating every day, they are going to gain weight, okay? Like that's just how the body is. But it's the, the way they live their lives, their lifestyles, they're not eating like that every day. That's why they're staying uh, their small size. One of the things I notice about naturally thin people, at meal times, they will, they will eat, of course, like the rest of us, but they talk a lot. They spend more time just observing, talking, engaging in conversation more than the actual food itself. They just, they spend more time talking than actually consuming the food. So overall, they consume less calories than someone who's just focused on their plate, you know? So this is an actual diet tip, I feel like. When you're eating with other people, enjoy the fact that you are socializing, talking, engaging in conversation, and use that as a way of kind of distracting yourself, if that makes sense just talk a lot more instead of being hyper focused on your food and being like oh i want this i need to finish this another thing that i've noticed is i mean this is especially when i'm watching my dad how he eats as soon as they stop feeling hungry so it's not even to the point of like being full feeling of being stuffed he never gets to that point because you know before a meal time you should really be hungry your stomach should be grumbling that's when you should have your meal and as long as he's gotten rid of that hungry feeling he puts down his cutlery and then he just stops eating. Most of us eat when we're not even truly hungry. We just eat because the clock says it's the meal time or we just, we're bored and we want to eat, you know? But you should only eat when you're really hungry and your stomach's asking for it. And then once you've got rid of that hungry feeling, stop eating. Put your fork down and stop eating right then because that's when your body is satisfied. You don't need to go beyond that point. Nobody ever needs to go to the point of, oh, I hate myself. My stomach feels like it's about to burst. That is not healthy. Don't eat till that point. In general, skinny people never binge eat. They never eat huge amounts of food in one go. That's universal for all skinny people. I've noticed some skinny people, skinny girls especially, they will eat like five pieces of sushi and they're like, oh, I feel full. For most of us, that just seems like, that's like a snack, you know? They're just not interested in food like the rest of us. They just, when they've got rid of that hungry feeling, they will just stop eating. Skinny people just don't find that state of being stuffed till you're about to burst. That's just simply not an acceptable state for them. My dad just simply refuses to eat another bite of food if he's feeling full. So mimic that. This is gonna be really hard for most people because we're told as children, finish everything on your plate, don't waste food, right? But try to get out of that mindset. It's okay to leave food. It's okay to not finish everything. Whether it's going in the bin or whether it's going in the fridge for leftovers for tomorrow, you don't need to finish it everything right there and then. Because if you're not depositing in the fridge or in the bin, you're depositing it into your body for unnecessary extra calories and you're gonna gain fat, basically. <laughs> Uh, so spare your body the unnecessary, the extra calories. Don't push through and finish like your entire plate if you don't want to. Skinny people are just so, they have just less greediness with food. Food is low on their priority list, whereas for most people it's like the number one joy and happiness. A lot of skinny people find food or eating like an inconvenience, which seems mad to me, but anyway, 
they find it in an inconvenience or they're just simply not hungry so they will just instinctively intermittent fast until like in the afternoon or in the evening they can skip meals easily without feeling hysterical or emotional about it whereas most people are programmed into thinking we have to eat breakfast lunch and dinner because that's what society says you know the whole thing about um breakfast is the most important meal of the day that was made up by american cereal companies in order uh, to like push their products and try to brainwash the entire public by saying oh breakfast is the most important meal of the day buy our products it's nonsense our cavemen ancestors they only ate food when they were able to have it they didn't eat three times a day yet they still managed to live and reproduce and create like the civilization that we have today and also another disclaimer if you're a growing teenager don't listen to any of this because you need to grow if you want to grow to your tallest height possible don't diet during your teenage years just eat plentiful and exercise I'm 26, so I'm fully grown, so I can give diet tips, but if you're a teenager and you're triggered by what I'm saying, just don't listen to me, okay? In Korean, we have this phrase um, called, like, you have a short mouth, she has a short mouth, so that's like saying they will stop eating quite soon after they started, like, their meal. They don't, they're not stuffing their face, f like, for half an hour, an hour at a time, you know? Mimic that because at the end of the day, dieting and losing weight is all about calories in versus calories out. So what I mean by that is, well, if you're on a deficit and you want to be losing weight, you have to simply burn more calories and consume less. Whereas if you're wanting to gain weight, you have to burn less and consume more. So that's literally all dieting is at the end of the day. It's all about the calories. If you just get into the habit of never eating huge amounts in one go, it'll be very hard to gain weight. There were some days in my like when not even on my maintenance days but on my dieting days when i'm trying to lose weight uh, like slightly every day there are some days when i just really wanted sugary stuff or like a burger but you can still as long as you fit it into your day's worth of calories and plus if you've exercised to like, burn off the excess there are still days when i would i when i could eat like pizza or a burger or like noodles but then i would keep in mind of the calories i would count the calories and then i would go off and exercise and I would still be underneath what I've been eating that day because obviously I do intermittent fasting. So for me, it's possible to do that. Whereas if you're eating three meals a day and one of your meals is like that, then that's kind of harder to do. Try to work out what your maintenance calories are. And then you just go slightly under that if you want to be losing weight. Not drastically, because like I said in my previous video, crash dieting doesn't work. So don't just like starve yourself, but just it has to be a lifestyle change. For skinny people, all of these things just come naturally to them. For the rest of us, we want to try and mimic their lifestyle. So it becomes second nature to us as well. You know, like actual food serving sizes are so small. I've seen literally some slim people have like a Kit Kat and they just eat half and then they put the rest away and for later. And it's because of little things like this that they just never gain weight. Try to incorporate that into your lifestyle as much as possible. And skinny people just don't have that same level of greed that most of us have with food. For example, if like some point in the afternoon, somebody offers you like a donut, most people will accept it because it tastes nice, right? But you're not actually hungry. You know, it's a rush of dopamine. You, you know that that tastes good. So you have it anyway, even if you're not truly hungry. So like I keep stressing, only eat when you are really hungry. You know, most of us are privileged enough to live in countries where food is plentiful. We're very blessed in that way. So if you don't have that thing today, you can get it easily tomorrow. Don't need to uh, be emotional and be like, oh, but if I, if I don't eat this today, I feel like I'm depriving myself or I'm missing out. No, you're not missing out. Just <laughs> stay calm. Know that you can have it at any time that you want. But just for right now, be focused and just skip it. In general, slim people, they are more active in their general lives than most people who are overweight. Have you guys exercised today? I have already worked out this morning. So if you haven't, put down this video and go work out right now. It doesn't even have to be hardcore. Just half an hour walk around your house. That's exercise. It's better than sitting on your couch doing nothing. I really cannot stress this enough. Just half an hour at least, minimum, every day. I do an hour personally, but you really don't have to think exercise i must like kill myself and no just go for a nice gentle walk it's really not hard even when you're in the house don't just be just lying on your bed the all day just try to just 
make yourself move around a little bit. Even when I'm watching stuff on Netflix or YouTube, I just like do squats and lunges and stuff like that. It's really not hard. I still need to like plan it out and like get all the old photos for comparisons and things, but future incoming video about my weight loss story and how I manage my weight and I'm finally like at peace with like how to diet and like manage my weight like and maintain it well. So subscribe for that. I really think portion control and not overeating is one of the most important factors when it comes to losing weight. When you see your slim friends and they seemingly eat burgers, chocolate, whatever, and they stay slim, but really observe how much they're eating because you are mo most likely eating two, three times more than they are. It all comes down to the calories. Calories in versus calories out. The most average person is really overeating every day on their meals. That's why everyone's slowly getting fatter and fatter. General takeaways from this video, the habits of skinny people, just they're just not as food focused. Like really immerse yourself in finding a new hobby because that will keep you distracted and just keeps your mind off wondering what to eat next. Start a YouTube channel, it's a really good hobby and it keeps you engrossed. Just be less greedy with food, it's plentiful, we have more than enough. So be less greedy and to leave food behind, really, really look at your portion sizes and the amounts that you're eating. Be more active, exercise every day. This is, I cannot stress this last one enough. It will do wonders for you. Once again, I wish everyone good luck on their diet for glow up for summer. <laughs> I've lost weight um, since July 1st. I mean, not like huge amounts, but I weighed myself and I can feel it like on my stomach and stuff. So. Be consistent, work out, don't starve. Wishing everyone good health, stay safe. Follow me on my socials if you want. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.